looking at my shorts, and it's just popped up, and uh, here goes Chris having an opinion again. I understand how people have all that free time to be on their phone playing and, and, and texting and, like, not actually living a life. That whole intro to this short, to me, is just kind of like the mind your own business fucking thing. I stream, I play video games, and, and I text people. You're not living a life if you're not doing the stuff that... I say you should be doing because <laughs> they don't have a life, right? Because their life is on one. the internet. If you, right, but if you're working, like if you actually have a goal and you have plans Hello. in motion to do things in life other than play video games and sit in front of a computer screen, you don't have that free time. So for people to spend eight hours texting each other all day long, back to back to back to back to back, neither one of y'all are doing your jobs. No. How are what, you earning a living? Oh yeah, what what jobs? What's the job? Why are you earning a living at all? We're all we're all literally actually monkeys you have to earn your life right you can't just like live it that's why i can't i can't understand i do what i do to take care of our kids i've been running a single a single income household for three years and it's been rickety i mean i do the bare minimum i work uh 40 to 50 hours a week uh, as a full-time job i stream somewhere between 8 p.m or 8 30 p.m. after you know kids get put down for bed you know after i read some stories and then i start doing this and watching stuff and playing video games like how he's criticizing about but i know he's talking about the people who are staying at their their parents house all fucking day you know doing all this blah 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 but even then i don't give a shit a lot of people that i know that do that are still genuine and decent people but i know people who live at their parents house still and I say, go ahead. And if they're not financially struggling, milk them. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. If they're not financially struggling, if they're financially well off, live with whoever the fuck that, that you want. As long as they're okay with it and they're okay with helping you and taking care of you and, and buying you some fucking groceries and letting you fuck off and jack off, and then I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you want to go earn a living and be all fucking manly and go, oh, duh, 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 fucking look at me. I'm out here murdering myself and my body. I know that, I know that they don't do that. They don't bust their ass. It's not like they're out lifting concrete slabs. <laughs> God. I do, I do apartment complex maintenance. I go out and I bust my fucking ass to make sure that people have a decent, you know, living. If someone doesn't have a fucking air conditioning going on in their fucking apartment that's a big issue especially down here in florida it's a huge fucking issue dude there's no way i can morally justify not going to help someone that is always priority all uh, we get all these like maintenance requests of people who just want like oh i want to hang pictures it's like bro no that's like i get it your your maintenance the work order was like fucking uh a month or two ago for your picture hanging and we haven't gotten around to it. That's because shit keeps breaking. That's like important. Th there's doing the right thing. And then there's this earning a living thing. If you have to earn something from somebody, you, this quid quo pro. And I don't really, I mean, that's such a cynical perspective of the, the world. And I think we should be more empathetic than, than cynical. I hate the cynical point of view, but it is, like, deeply rooted in me, unfortunately. It's because you look at the world and you see that most things are cynical and that most people live cynical lives. It, they do things for themselves, which is fine because you need bare necessities. <laughs> but after the bare necessities, I don't give a fuck what you do. If you're living your life, if you're taking care of the people you have to take care of, do whatever the fuck you want. If you want to spend all day on video games, spend all day on video games. I, I can't get behind this mindset of what are you and doing? Again, that's not what get this a job. is, but like that's that's a thing. These kids who play video games all day long that are in their 30s and they stay at their parents' house still and they have no real ambition and they're not looking for a job. Do whatever you want. And they only come out to go to the bathroom and get food that their parents are fucking buying just to go who back cares? in the room to continue playing video games like... Why Those are you people mad? aren't even going to give you that kind of time of day because they're going to eventually go back to playing their video games because that's where they're... I'm assuming that the context of this short is is related to whatever they're talking about in the podcast prior to this short. So I'm sure they're talking about how it's a partner of somebody or like in a relationship. Of course, nobody wants to date a person who doesn't have ambition. Well, okay, that's unfair of me. I'm sure there are people out there 
who are okay with dating people who don't have ambition. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but I just want to go ahead and put it on record and say that everybody is, is blatantly different. We are all very different people. And if you want to do nothing with your life, I believe in your freedom and your right to do that. I think that that's extremely important to the individual is to do whatever the fuck you want as long as it is not negatively impacting other people. And I'm sure this whole point is like, oh, you're negatively impacting your partner because there's no contest. See, a problem that I've run into with the To Be Better podcast is that every single time I see a short that I don't agree with and I may or may not personally bring it up to them and be like, yo, Peaches, I got a problem with this because this seems kind of fucked up. Their immediate re immediate response is the context is in the podcast. You put shorts out to hook new viewers or, or, or re reoccurring viewers. You're trying to hook people to bring them to the bigger, the main content. Shorts are like secondary content and should, in my very not professional opinion, but in my, my professional opinion, they should provide all of that context within them. So whatever context is needed and it's not there, if it's in the podcast, the short's going to flop. People are going to look at this kind of stuff, and they're going to go, yo, what the fuck? Why are you worried about other people? But they don't know. You're more than likely talking about a relationship issue, where you're talking about a partner who may or may not be ambitious, or yada yada. That's the kind of context that I talked about. We say, oh, the context is in the, the podcast. You need to provide context in all of your content. I don't know, man. That's just that's just me. I feel like it's important. I feel like you're misleading people with, with things if, if you don't like. I actually, I, I asked them, I said, yo, do you take this fucking short down? Because it makes me really uncomfortable. It was the one where they were talking about um, my kids make fun of your kids or whatever thing. I mean, my kids made fun of you and your kids. Yeah, that one just really, really fucking upset me because I was like, dude, those are my kids too. Like, they're not making fun of other people's kids. I wouldn't want you to be publicly telling people that they're making fun of other people's kids. I don't condone that. <laughs> like, that's not behavior in my household that I allow. Complete.